My name is Walter Kirk Walker. Top dog. Um, that's basically been it growing up. Name I developed through uh, college and running around. I was born on September 16, 1962. Born in a little rural town in northeast Mississippi called Aberdeen. Population about 7,000. I consider myself to be articulate, spontaneous, proud black man, southern gentleman, man of heritage and culture, seek knowledge, closeness to God, and peace. Not hard to define, simplicity is my word. I was raised by two ladies with the help of a cousin. My grandmother, Essie Cockrell, my father's side, and my mom's side, Maggie Evans, and my mentor, great Dorothy, Lucille Peters Strong, raised me to be the man that I am. In the beginning, before integration was different, I was born in the time of segregation. We had separate bathrooms, separate doctors, separate schooling, and everyone knew their place. But my little town was different. We also had a civil rights activist named General Young that kept us with the idea that we had as much right as anyone being in America. I always wanted to be a doctor. The lady that raised me worked for the only white doctor in the area that would treat blacks. So he birthed most of like 80% of all the black kids, the only one that delivered a black baby. I was raised by two women and one that went to the eighth grade. So in the third grade we integrated, we all took a test, one through 10, the highest one and the lowest 10. I made the highest, only like two other blacks in one. Got a Victorian school, vice president of student body. I ran in Mississippi State, fall in love, and I was accepted. I didn't realize the difference. Being that I grew up in the project, most 89% of us are single parent home. When we got to school, and if we would stand outside and the bell ring, I would go my other way. If I had to do life all over again, I would do the same way. I'm happy the way it turned out. It was difficult. And I saw education as a way to get away, but I saw how they used it to segregate. Through basketball and other sports, I was given the opportunity. I attended IJC, now it's ICC. Then I went by Mary Holmes, which was in West Point. It was a private uh, Presbyterian school. Eventually ended up at Mississippi State. Between college, I went in the military and uh, traveled, saw the world. Mississippi is Mississippi. It has an area, it has its culture, it has its family, it has its ties, but it's Mississippi. It's only 1.8 people in the whole state, which is two times smaller than Chicago. It's behind a little bit due to racism, segregation, and financial aspect. But it's growing because there's a lot of land, low cost of living, weather's decent, it is what you make it. You can't be based on what other people think. Find you as a human being. Don't get caught up in the race thing. With the new internet and the cyber world moving forward, it's unlimited. You know, education is very essential to my well-being and my daughter's future. So in my spare time on Friday, I volunteer at the school to help pass out the lunches and the snacks that are served for their well-being. I assist the lunch moms in maintaining order, the recess, and the passing of lunches at my school. As much as I get opportunity to see her, I also get an opportunity for them to see me, to know that I care and I'm concerned, that I'm not just someone that as a student there, I am into her whole entire well-being at her education level. So that's why I want Me and my friend is in, the, is in the process of creating a program, a nonprofit organization to promote the education and the life of black students in our public school system to show them the foundation necessary to be productive in our society. We have many programs after school, after lunch, and tutoring to assist them in their growth. Because we know that the children are our future. My name is Walter Walker, and I am a single black parent 
raising a child in this chaotic world, but with, through the help of God and time, you will be okay. I'm a veteran, and most of all, I'm a proud black man.